Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, we just got a brand new producer's letter for Global, and this one is all about the upcoming version Z update, which is dropping within the week. So, I'm super excited for it. I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, it says at the very top here, Hello all, this is the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle International Version Operation Team. Thank you very much for playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We are releasing this producer's letter to follow up on the previous announcement in regards to the Version Z update plan. Since the first update will soon be implemented, we'd like to introduce the update plan's content and the features to be implemented once again. So, what is the Version Z update plan? The version Z update plan is a long-term project created to improve Dokkan Battle, and it has three key focal points. Number one, to make the game fun for first-time players. Number two, to increase the playability. And number three, to add or to improve challenge features. So essentially the idea is that they want to make the game more accessible for people that have never played it. Obviously, it's been around for a long time now, right? And I feel like it's really overwhelming for new players to get into because there's just so much stuff going on. Like I have a few friends who told me they tried to get into it because of my channel and uh, they just couldn't. So this will definitely help with that. And the second thing is that they want to make the game easier for, you know, current players or long-term players to continue playing because the game obviously does get dry. From time to time so they're trying to improve the replayability factor i guess and at the bottom it says the upcoming first update will be focusing on the uh, making the game more fun for first time players and increasing the playability this time we'll introduce the content related to the long expected increase the playability point okay so the second page says relive the story of the original anime the implementation of Dragon Ball story. Its content will continue to be expanded with the renewal of current story events. In addition to improving the animations, the rewards will be reset so those who have already cleared the story events will be able to enjoy them again through the new content. So for anybody that is a current player who's been playing for a while, this is going to be a lot of new free stones up for grabs, which is awesome. But uh, overall, the Dragon Ball story will just be more enjoyable because the animations will be better and things will just be more streamlined. So that's the first feature. And secondly, we have the greatest warrior is revamped into panel missions. So they have these panel missions where you can work towards getting all of the awakening material, the medals to uh, essentially token awaken this free to play Goku into his LR status. And it's going to be available for both uh, new players as well as current players. So uh, basically, by completing all the missions, you will be able to token awaken Goku recruited from an event into an LR. There are various rewards you can get, and a total of 77 Dragon Stones can be obtained by completing all the missions. Of course, current players can obtain these rewards as well. So basically what I said, we have these missions, you get your stones, you get some other useful items, and then all the awakening medals you need to get this free-to-play LR Goku. And from there, we have Activate Hidden Potential in one go. And it's, you know, just what it sounds like. Instead of having to click a bunch of times, now we can click one button and just activate a unit's full Hidden Potential system. And it's gonna save us a lot of time. So the description here says, Strengthen characters by unlocking their Hidden Potential in one go. Until now, Hidden Potential nodes can only be unlocked little by little, but characters or rather players will soon be able to unlock nodes that can be activated in one go. Please note that hidden potential skill nodes are excluded in this function, so you will still need to unlock them yourself according to your character's abilities. So it's not including the, you know, additional or crit, all that stuff, but the like, you know, attack, defense, uh, HP can all be unlocked at once, which is still very, very useful. And uh, number four, we have easier to collect items implementation of the auto mode. So this is probably the feature that I've been the most excited for. You'll have two new buttons that say auto map 
an auto battle, right? So if you click auto map, then you're going to be like automatically taken through the stage. And uh, I believe it takes you through the path that has the most enemies or the most items. I don't remember exactly what the uh, algorithm is, but either way, it takes you automatically through the map. You don't have to click the numbers at the bottom. And then for auto battle, it's basically auto battle. So it's going to actually, you know, select orbs for your units. And I think it chooses the path with the most orbs for each unit. And uh, you don't have to actually, you know, set your rotations or anything like that. And of course, the intention here is to make things like grinding metals or grinding for certain items or link levels uh, a lot less painful, right? So it says the auto mode can be used on the maps and in battles. The auto mode can be turned on or off on the map and in battle. You can choose to turn it on uh, only on the map or both the map and battle according to your play style. So you can use both if you want or just one or the other. It really depends on how uh, lazy you feel, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, auto battle, auto map, these are definitely features that we've needed for a while. They're features that a lot of other gacha games have had forever. And uh, even though it kind of sucks that it took so long, it's still nice to finally see them in Dokkan. So after that, we have easier to build teams, no more team cost limit. So I've always thought that the team cost thing was stupid, but now they completely got rid of it. There is no more team cost. I guess this makes the actual cost of units like uh, LRs being 77 or 99 kind of arbitrary, but I think it's a good thing for sure because it was always a unnecessary restriction in the first place. And uh, now a rank one account can literally run a full LR team if they want to. And uh, scrolling down to the description here, make use of auto team formation and team copying functions. Plus, you can now build up to 50 teams. Additionally, up until now, some players have been using treasure items to raise the team cost limit. They can rest assured that we will be sending them back the treasure items they used previously. Well, that's kind of cool. Okay, so if you bought team cost with your like, uh, you know, battlefield gems or whatever, you'll get those back. And uh, there's also going to be 50 team slots as opposed to, is it 7 right now? Either way, it was way too restrictive before. Now we have 50 teams or 50 slots for teams we can build. And there's also going to be an auto team building feature and a team copying feature to just make the uh, team building process a lot more streamlined, you know? So uh, moving on from there, we have... Even easier to use, Giru's recommended characters revamped. So the Giru's guide feature on the side of your screen is now going to be even more useful. Um, it will be easier to learn more about ongoing events and recommended characters, characters who can be recruited in events, those whose super attack uh, levels still can be raised, and uh, those whose hidden potential can still be activated will be displayed in an easy to use manner. And lastly, we have, what are your thoughts? The implementation is planned to take place in the upcoming version update. We are also planning to launch a campaign when the first update of the version Z update plan is released. So we hope you look forward to that as well. The content of the version Z update plan will not be limited to what we have introduced this time. We will continue to develop new and better content to make Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle easier to play. Please look forward to the introduction of the third focal point to add or to improve challenge features. The operation team will be striving to make Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle enjoyable for everyone. After six years, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle is still evolving, so stay tuned. And from the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle operation team. So there you have it guys, that is the producer's letter for January 2022 about the upcoming version Z update. And uh, as you can tell, they said multiple times, this is the first update. There's going to be multiple parts to version Z. There's going to be a second part at some point, probably later this year, and then maybe a third part as well. Um, I'm looking forward to what else they have in store for us. But for now, this is a lot, you know, by far, by far, it is the biggest update in Dokkan history. The auto map feature, the auto battle feature is going to be clutch for 
grinding links for sure. That's going to be the main thing I use it for. But also for uh, grinding metals because we have the LR hit Gohan dropping as well. So I'm probably not going to farm him until version Z comes out. And uh, I'm stoked. Let me know in the comments down below which feature you guys are the most excited for. And that does it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.